So, on to another novice event. This time it's the Neptune G1 hurdle over two mile five furlongs. Our number one, Golden Key, David Robertson, the favourite for the race. Two, Parentis of Tam King. Our goal for Jim Murray is three. Delecto Tam King is four. Lano Tet of Darren Thompson is five. Mr. The Fidel Hinton is six. Noble Queen for Paul Rhodes is seven. Rising Dan Fidel Hinton is eight. And the fourth phase for Joshua Sutherland is nine. So, just nine of them. They're being called in. And the flags are raised and they're off. Get over the first. It's been a day full of novices. Plenty of wins for John Morgan so far. I think that's three. We're only on race eight. We get to the second. Everybody jumps it all together. They're all very close order here. I'm waiting for a Del Hinton horse to take it up, but it doesn't appear to want to. There's no Morgan monster in here to bound off in the lead. Finally, it's rising damp that just sneaks half a length ahead of Golden Key. The favourite for the race. They're all taking a bit of a hold here. It's going to be a tactical battle, this one. Trying to pick up this G1 Neptune novices hurdle. So it's rising damp from Golden Key. And we've got Noble Queen against the fence. The outside of that is Tams, Delecto and Parentis. Two greys in between those is Argyle Fort for Jim Murray. You know, Mr. The... Del Hinton out wide, and just uh, towards the rear is the fourth phase and Lanoteta. A rising damp. Leads them down to the next hurdle, the third. They will skip over that, but a good jump there by Delecto and Parentis. Almost brought alongside the leader, rising damp. She is Miss Jones, but it's rising damp from Delecto, Argol, Fort and Parentis. And we've got Mr. The Golden Key and Noble Queen. Fourth phase and Lanarteta just to the rear. So we're going to come past the grandstands again. We'll swing on out left handed. And it's rising damp that's going to skip over the fourth. This is the rest. We'll swing, as I said, left handed out again. And of course. See, look at all those rows. How could anyone know where they were going at Cheltenham? Just in the distance. A bit of rain coming down now. The weather's starting to change a little bit here today. But it's rising damp that's got the lead in this one by about four. The Delecto Argyle Fault Golden Key. Mr. The Parentis. Noble Queen's there. The fourth phase has got a little closer. To the rear and jump that very slowly was Lanarteta. So, with a mile and a quarter to go, it's rising down from Delecto, Mr. The Golden Key, Parentis, Noble Queen, Argyle, Fault, Fourth Phase, and Lanarteta. Rising Damp. And two to his stable mate, Mr. The. Pink guy out over the seventh, they jump it together. It's Mr. The that just noses in front now and takes it up from Rising Damp. So Mr. The, Rising Damp, Golden Key the favourite, Delecto, Argyle, Fort in the fourth phase against the fence. And a length back to Noble, Queen, Parentis and Lanoteta. But still up front is Mr. The. And a little hold now. Behind him is Rising Damp. Jumps that one a little bit better. The favourite Golden Key is still there and sitting in a pretty good position. So that's seven furlongs to home now, and it looks like we're going to ride on board. Delecto. So on board, Tam King's Delecto. As you can see, the three in front of him. So come down here, hit now. There's a six furlong pole. This is Noble Queen, Paul Rhodes. And then we're on Mr. The. And you can see Rising Damp and Mr. The both being pushed along. And back to Delecto. And Argyle Fault. I think we're having a ride on everybody, but back front is Rising Stamp that's still got the lead just by a length to Mr. The and Golden Key the favourite, Delecto, Argyle Fault the fourth phase and Lanarteta making up a bit of ground. So with just half a mile left to travel it's Rising Damp Golden Key, Mr. The Delecto, Lanarteta the fourth phase, Noble Queen trying to run on Argyle Fault and we can't see Parentis anymore but it's still Rising Damp that's got 
the march on the moor at the moment. Inside the three furlongs, it's rising damp, running well on the outside now is Lan Arteta, the favourite Golden Key, starts to make his move. Two and a half furlongs left to run, it's rising damp. Here comes Golden Key to throw down a challenge, and it's Golden Key that swoops past the rising damp. He's not favourite for anything inside a furlong and a half, and he's pulling away from the rest of the field. He gets over the last. He looks classy, this horse. He jockey has a quick look round. I think David Robinson can get one in the bag here now. We're inside the, well inside the final furlong. We're down to half a furlong. And Golden Key has won this by about three to four lengths from Lanatella in second. A good battle between Delecto and the fourth face for third and fourth. I think Dell's missed it there. May well have hung on to the fifth. So a great win there for David Robinson. Picks up the Neptune Novices Group 1 hurdle with Golden Key. Second was Lana Teta for Darren Thompson. Third was Delecto for Tam King. Fourth was the fourth phase for Joshua Sutherland. And fifth was Argyle Fort for Jim Murray.